I was like, oh, okay. Uh, this is something that maybe I could do more of. Cool, I like that. Oh, great question. Thank you. It's so interesting. I feel like everything always builds to new things. Everything in Makeout Monday was kind of like learning how to perform, learning how to sing and play bass and kind of being a part of an actual rock band. And then that just made doing Sunset Curve and Truly the Phantoms so much easier because it was like, oh, I've already done this. Like, I know exactly what this is. I have the energy. I know how to like put on a performance. And so it just felt like I didn't have to worry about the music side of it as much. I could just worry about the acting side of it because the music side was just second nature at that point. And it like prepared me in a way that I could never have been prepared if I had not done that prior to that show. With Phantoms, it kind of gave me that confidence to start doing more songwriting by myself, start you know, thinking, oh, I guess I can do kind of music in some places, maybe by myself. You know, I think before that, I really wasn't at a place where I felt confident to go out alone, solo and, and do something. Um, and through that songwriting process for the show, and uh, we ended up doing like kind of a songwriting band camp after season one, you know, just in between kind of for fun to stretch out our creative muscles. Through that, it really gave me the confidence as a, a songwriter. And so, I just kind of started writing. And the first thing I actually did was a song that I released for my wife on her birthday that was all about her. And I did that as kind of like a fun birthday present for her. And then it did really well. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, this is something that maybe I could do more of. Cool, I like that. Uh, and so, yeah, it's led to recording more. Obviously I did an EP. I just came out with my first full length solo album, uh, I think in October which has been crazy. And I think just this last week, we announced I'm doing my first little mini tour uh, in March for, for the album, which is crazy. We're doing four shows. I think there's one in LA, Chicago, Atlanta, and Brooklyn. Um, and yeah, we just announced that last week, actually. This is a very, very new development. Uh, and I'm so excited. I've never done a live show for my music before. Uh, and I haven't performed like in a live capacity in at this point years. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. Great question. Uh, we were most of the way through recording uh, that album, actually. I think that was like the last song that I recorded for the whole album that ended up being, I think, in my opinion, one of the best, one of my favorites. I was like, oh, we've done like a lot of other genres. We haven't really done like kind of an 80s uh, song with a guitar solo <laughs> and, and all. Uh, and so I wanted to do like a you know modern pop version of an 80s song. And so the instrument part was definitely from that. And then lyric wise, I really kind of, you know, I like that idea of kind of challenging, I guess, what is more normative, I guess, in, in kind of our like dating culture right now, which I think I see like a lot of people, you know, having kind of very like toxic relationships or just like kind of relationships that mean nothing in, in a lot of ways at, at times and, and people kind of being um, a little bit kind of saddened by that and a little bit depressed by that and and not feeling they have, they've been like fulfilled in a, a stronger relationship. Um, and so yeah, I kind of wanted to have that as the theme for the song and, and just talk about that a little bit. It was kind of also from like, you know, the way I was raised with my parents, it was very like, you got to be, you know, be the best version of yourself so you can find someone that's like worthy of that basically. And that was, that's what I was raised with. So that's the the chorus line, which is, you know, uh, my mother told me if you want to be, find a good woman, uh, you got to be a good man basically. So that's uh that was the whole crux of the song. And I, I think it's really fun to do that in a very upbeat um, fun song that sh sounds like it would be played in like a club or something, but the, the lyrics of it are kind of the opposite, which is fun. <laughs> 